Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Sunday, May 26th, 9.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. We're back from the Crow Canyon Petroglyph Tour. All was a success. And we have two great stories to kick off the evening. Newly discovered comet on its way to Earth should be visible to the naked eye soon. And a pop in plasma density on the telemetry shows that we may have aurora tonight. Keep calm. It's boom time. More bad news across the U.S. At least 18 people are dead after tornado spawning storms strike the central U.S. on Memorial Day weekend. We warned about the possibility of severe weather, and now at least 18 people, including four children, are dead in four states after suspected tornadoes struck the central U.S. overnight as millions face continued severe weather threats throughout the remainder of the Memorial Day weekend. Just under 109 people, 109 million people across broad swaths of the U.S. were under threat of large hail, damaging winds, and fierce twisters Sunday. Take a look at this huge tree, a 50-foot tree downed on her property, Betty there. The city of Denton, Texas, the fire department shares photos of damaged buildings following severe weather reported in the area. Definitely looks catastrophic like a tornado there. Vehicles in a body shop are seen amid debris after a tornado rolled through Valley View in Texas. There you can see those storms exploding over the last 24 hours. Hours of powers. So we still have a level 3 of 5 risk of severe thunderstorms over parts of the Mississippi and Ohio Valleys into Monday morning. Heed the warnings. EF2 to EF5 tornadoes are possible with wind gusts of 74 miles per hour also. According to the Prediction Center there, deadly storms and tornadoes strike Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Kentucky. And we do have, unfortunately, some video footage from the event. Absolutely catastrophic here. As we can see a water main there pumping there. Tornado here got a preliminary EF3, destroying homes. Sad state of affairs. We've been reporting on this destruction now for days, and it appears to be continuing with even more turbulence on airplanes, for goodness sakes. Governor Abbott provides an update on Texas's severe weather tornado response efforts in Valley View. We will leave you links below. Over 220 buildings were damaged, 100 people injured, and more than 200 homes or structures destroyed, as well as four deaths. Our hearts and our prayers go out to those affected. Now, power outages appear to be limited but widespread with the big winter chicken dinner. Kentucky looking plucky, coming in with 136,000 currently without power, 100,000 in Virginia, 100,000 in West Virginia, about 100,000 in Missouri, 70,000 in Arkansas. You get the picture. Damaging storms continue through the weekend. At least 18 dead as severe weather sweeps across the central U.S. This is an update, an unfortunate one, and some dramatic aerials of the scenes here. Complete destruction there of, of this property. So just bad news all around as the Memorial Day weekend is kicking off here. And destruction like this is unimaginable. We'll leave you links below to live updates here from CNN. President Biden sending condolences for the storm victims. He looks like he's wincing there. Here's the full forecast. Severe weather and excessive rain in the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys. Dangerous heat in the south. You can see those watches and warnings out for the center of the eastern U.S. there. Widespread strong to severe thunderstorms may produce large hail, damaging wind gusts, a few tornadoes, and flash flooding across parts of the lower Missouri Valley into the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys. Dangerous and potentially record-breaking heat continues to parse par parts of Texas, the nexus of the Schmexis, the western Gulf Coast, and southern Florida, and Puerto Rico. So heat the warnings. Heat warnings out for South Texas, visible on the map. 
Let's take a quick look at the GFS model. We can see some severe weather up here in uh, Wisconsin. Currently, that's going to be moving up into Canada, where in the next three to six hours, we could see an explosion over Indiana, as well as down in Tennessee by morning. And then they'll be east all the way across the East Coast as we hit Monday into Tuesday and some severe weather threats for the Northeast. Let's take a look if there's any total snowfall as we uh, enter summer here. Not a bummer. Let me push the correct button here. There is going to be some snow falling in British Columbia through the end of May. And then as we enter June here, it looks like most of the snow faucet is shut off. I'm sure Al Gore is happy about that. Seismic update, some big rumblers today, a 6.6 .6 in Tonga. No tsunami warnings there, aftershocks abound. The most recent quake of significance, 5.3 in Papua New Guinea. We also have a significant quake here on the tip of the Kamchatka, coming in at 5.2. Who knew? Well, now you do. Some activity in Stanton, Texas, Probably deep well injection, frac related. Overall, normal activity worldwide. Interesting quake here in the Mediterranean, in Morocco. Papua New Guinea, bad news coming from the ma major landslide that happened about four days ago. Struggles to find the estimated 670 killed in the landslide. As the death toll rises, we've been showing you for days the huge boulders and the thickness of this slide. It is going to take weeks, months, and maybe even years to uncover all of the victims. All of the links to the videos will be below. And you can see them here digging out what is appears to be impossible. Our hearts and our prayers go out to all the lives lost in this tragic occurrence. Space Weather News AR3664 is set to return as we've been positing for the last two days. The source of 12 X-class solar flares between May 8th and May 15th and multiple Earth-directed coronal mass ejections that led to a historic extreme geomagnetic storm on May 10th and 11th is now located just behind the southeast limb and is about to turn around. So the next seven days may be getting spicy, but overall, very low-level sea flares happening now. Three-day geomagnetic forecast is for nothing, uh, but we just noticed telemetry pop in the last hour or so. That is now falling off the density. So this is just an apparition spike, albeit pushing the plasma speed above 600. Could have a small jump up to KP4 here and maybe some corona, uh, some aurora activity overnight. So get out and look up. Now a newly discovered is on its way to Earth, should be visible to the naked eye soon and is outbursting now. It could get as bright as Venus come late summer and early autumn, maybe October will be the month. Comet C 2023 A3 Tuchin Atlas is photographed here from the Virtual Telescope Project, May 5th, 2024. Al Gore's a bore. But eyes on the sky, folks, people. Comet C2023A3 Tuchinshan Atlas has a good chance of getting bright enough to be visible to the naked eye in the coming months, which means this is an electric comet. It's currently visible only to telescopes, but it's still quite distance away from the sun and it has time to get brighter and could even get as bright as Venus, the brightest planet in the night sky come October. Holy macaroni. Buckle up, buttercup. It could be a show. Talking about shows, more turbulence? Yes, it's true. 12 airline passengers injured after extreme turbulence hits another international flight. This flight, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, landed safely in Dublin Airport just before 1 p.m. Sunday. 12 people were injured aboard a Qatar Airways plane from Doha to Dublin, Ireland on Sunday after extreme turbulence hit yet another international flight what is going on well space weather and a waning magnetosphere guys we just got back from the most impressive petroglyph tour that we've ever had with really good weather and 
Over a dozen people enjoyed everything. We've got some snippets and sneak peeks peaks from the event live over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project here. We've got a few minutes of us all over at Blake's Lotta Burger. And on the homepage, we've got, uh, yeah, down here in Alternative Science, Thunderbird in the desert, a sneak peek at some of the petroglyphs that will be uh, revealing to you in the video once I get it edited up. Everyone had a great time, and the group was fantastic. It was a spectacular day, 15 hour long for me, plus an extra two and a half for this video, and I got to get some sleep. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are exhausted, as well as shadow banned, and we need and rely on your help to grow the channel. Just share it on your social media. Hit the thumbs up. That also helps with the Al Gore rhythm. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. To knowledge. Meow, meow, meow.